We all know what happens to a hot dog addict if they don't get their fix. And when Michelle on Facebook said, dude, hot dog fiend, I suddenly got this insatiable itch I just couldn't scratch. Until now. I just want one. Just one. Tell me how long you've been waiting to go to this truck? About a month and a half now. Why is that? I'm a hot dog fanatic. You're an addict? An addict, yeah. How many times a week do you go for the hot dog? Every day, obviously. Sometimes the amount of hot dogs, they, I, I think my artery is slowly closing, but that's... That's what it does. That's a personal problem. You can judge me all you want. I'm not going to judge. I'm, I'm crazy about hot dogs. Okay. All right, Cassandra, I'm a big fan of dogs, but let's talk about you first. You're not originally from Chicago, right? You're originally from not. New York. I am. I'm from the Bronx. And that's where you got your love and passion for the That's hot right. Dog from. That's right. Growing up, it was just delicious and something that I could eat while I waited for my mom. She would bribe me and just say, hey, you know, I'll buy you a hot dog if you wait, then voila. Red, your order's ready. You do many a dressed up dog, right? It's not just a Chicago style or a New York street style. We have the macho nacho, a dirty dog, a cute dog. What's one that you think we should make today? The bacon blue dog. It's oh. one of our best and it's topped with mixed greens, tomatoes, and then you got the blue cheese aioli. It's kind of my ode to the wedge salad. And of course the star on that dog is the bacon. Should we go get some harnesses and go walk this dog? Definitely. Okay, we're gonna go and walk this dog. <laughs> Oh, we're finally on the truck. We got some well-behaved dogs in here. They will snap. Do we need to put a muzzle on them? <laughs> the bacon can act as a muzzle. There we go. go. Because no dog would eat through that muzzle made of bacon. Let's throw these on the flat top. Okay. That's okay. pretty good. Woo! Oh wow. Boom! That's the perfect bun. All right. Perfect, perfect dog. dog. We're gonna dress it up and make it bacon blue style. First the greens, then the tomatoes, and it's time for the blue cheese aioli. Oh. I haven't had a dog for days, so I just wanted to overload. What I'm trying to say is I f***ed it up. <laughs> Enough about my mess. Let's carry on building this bad boy. I think our onions are pretty much grilled in okay. the way we want them. There's one thing that's missing, our star ingredient. The bacon. We need our fix. That's the bacon blue. Yes. Who's a good looking boy? Good boy. Good boy. It's a strong addiction. I mean, I'm from Chicago, so who's not addicted to hot dogs? My first hot dog is probably with my grandfather at a ball game. But I feel like it was at a baseball game. Probably when I was like four. It was a neighborhood cookout. What happens to your body if you don't have a hot dog for, say, like a week? Withdrawals could take place. Would you say this truck is adding to the addiction problem of people's <laughs> Most dog? definitely, yeah. yeah. And if you haven't been addicted yet, then today's where you start. Sometimes you just got to take your addiction out on the open. I can't <laughs> take it anymore. I just got to dive straight in. <laughs> These may be the words of an addict, which I embrace. A serious, badass dog. Bacon, hot dog, that's all I need. You need that fix? That is the dog you go to right there. Why are you here at Hot Dog Fiend, Chicago's best? We treat the hot dog like a star. They're all about the hot dog, and they're all about making you an addict. Enjoy yourself. Don't fight it. <laughs>